let's have history lesson. The election of 1912. The election of 1912 was one of the most unusual and exciting elections in U.S. history. Not American history, U.S. history, the corporation. It involves three major candidates for the president, Roosevelt, Taft, and Woodrow Wilson, and a fourth candidate of a minor party, Eugene B. Dabbs. Uh, Taft, the Republican, uh, Conversions of the Republic Party rallied around the president. They nominated Taft rather than Roosevelt. They nominated Taft, not Roosevelt. Roosevelt, the progressive, bull moose. Angered by the default of the Republican National Convention, uh, progressive supporters of Theodore Roosevelt decided to form a new political party. The uh, Progressive Party, as they called it, was also known as the Bull Moose Party, after its candidate, Roosevelt, described himself as a strong as a bull's moose. Right, I want you to notice that they throw away the old way and they brought in a new way. That's what they did. All right, Winston the Democrat. Uh, though born in Virginia, Virginia, Woodrow Wilson had moved to New Jersey as a college professor and won natural attention as the progressive governor of that state. He was a newcomer in our dem democratic national politics in 1912, but managed to win the nomination of his party after a long and bitter struggle on the the uh, convention floor. Debs the Socialist. Since n uh, the 1900s, the Socialist Party has strong, uh, steadily gained in strength and number. Think about the Socialists. Oh, think about it. What are the Socialists? Communists. It uh, campaigned the interest of individual workers and put forth the radical idea that all major industrials should be owned and operated by the U.S. government. Another change has been put in right there. Its presidential candidate, Eugene Dobbs, um, campaigned with great energy and zeal. That's all they got to say about that guy. Election results. Winston won 435 electoral votes. Neither Taft nor Roosevelt had much chance of putting off a victory since they divided the Republican vote between them. Roosevelt won 88 electoral votes, far better than Taft's eight electoral votes. Debs received not a single electoral vote even though he polled nearly one million popular votes. So you could tell right here it was, it was rigged up because whoever's most popular, that's the one that's going to get the votes. So somewhere something right here is not right. Since all the candidates claimed to be reformed, even Taft, it seemed that their entire nation was now eager to reform. So what, they reformed it. They changed it. Reform is a word change. Woodrow Wilson's new freedom. Wilson was only the second Democrat to be president since the Civil War. Governor Cleveland, a governor king, <laughs> had been the first. In his inaugural address of 1913, he announced a seat sweeping program of economic reform, which he called the New Freedom. He possesses reforms of three kinds, a lower tariff, more exclusive regulation of big businesses, and a reform system of banking. So, 
that's when they started doing all the stuff with the banks the uh with the birth certificates and stuff like that and i'll i, I it, it's crazy they did more of a banking okay uh fight for lower tax traffic uh, addressing a special session of Congress, the new president said, the tough duties must be altered. When Cro Congress uh, banked Wilson appeared to the American people to put pressure on the representatives, they did, and the Underwood Trust became law, 19 and 13. One effect of the lower traffic was to lower the prices of many customer goods. They might have lowered it, but then they turned right around and they raised it right back up there. Yep. Another effect was to remove the special protection that big businesses had enjoyed for more than 20 years since the anomical of the very high Mark Kinley trap of 18 and 90. So they made the businesses even bigger. Is really what I'm reading into it. Because what they say on this hand, they do on this hand. Don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. Well, let's go to Psalms 51. And... No, that's not right. Psalms 22, 4 through 15. Our fathers, our founder fathers, trusted in thee. They trusted God. They trusted, and thou didst deliver them. Remember, Washington come out and told that one woman that they were free if she could keep it. But they couldn't. People could not. Somewhere we got duped. They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised of the people. When you stand up for God, you're going to be despised. And this right here, new um, free man stuff, sovereignty. You're going to get persecuted over it. All they that see that uh, see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lips. They uh, shake the head, saying, that He trusts on the Lord that he would deliver him. Yes, trust the Lord that he's going to deliver you. And you watch it happen. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. Yeah, let's just see if you can do it. Let God go ahead. You're not going to get nowhere. People are already getting out of it. But thou art he that, that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. We had hope, but then it got took away from us. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, but there is none to help. Nobody can help him get away from that stupid birth certificate. Many bulls have compassed me. Strong bulls of Bashan have besought me, uh, me around. They grab me, grab upon me with their mouths as they raven as a roaring lion. Think about this. You ever go into a... Uh, um, where they um, sell stocks and bonds and stuff like that. Wall Street. Go in there and listen to it. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my, my bowels. My strength is dried up like a potter's and my tongue cleaved to my jaws, and though they bought me into the dust of death. So, 
this has been going on for a long, long time. We can get it out. We can make it out of it. And we're going to be doing great when we do. Just trust the Lord. No matter who scorns you, trust in the Lord. I love you guys. Bye.